guys so today I'm heading off to see the bees and basically we're gonna check out um, uh, swarming and different things like that uh, especially trying to find little things that are called uh, queen cells and they're these little kind of egg-shaped uh, uh, waxen um, yeah, cells that are basically hanging down vertically off the side of the comb um, we're gonna go and look and check for them now we're hoping to find uh, ones that haven't been sealed yet because if they're sealed it means that the swarm has basically escaped and that's what we're going to do today is basically go and try and uh, prevent swarming because um, there's a really serious problem at the moment with um, you know the varroa mite so whenever you lose a swarm that swarm will die anyway within the next year or two so it's really important not to lose a swarm especially at this time okay guys so we start by smoking our hive now it's very windy today and it's been raining quite a bit uh, lately, so the bees are going to be agitated today. Um, normally I wouldn't do this until it's maybe a bit warmer, but I really have to check if they have built queen cells. Now next comes the crown board. So you can see here now that these bees are very, very congested. And that means basically that there's just basically bees packed in there everywhere. So that's usually when they start swarming is because they haven't got any more room and they really want to, uh, you know, have a bit more room. So they're trying to basically leave the nest, leave the hive. Half of them might leave. Now what I could do is I could give them a bit more room by giving them maybe a super or something like that or maybe um, a whole root uh, chamber with frames and they'll basically draw that out and they might give up swarming altogether but most likely um, chances are because they've already prepared for swarming they probably will go for it now you know as soon as the weather turns a bit nicer but we'll have a look now anyway and see if they've made any queen cells okay they're a bit more wild now um, I've had a look through a few of them and I could see a few queen cells, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start now preparing for uh, the artificial um, swarm method. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this hive, because they're a bit too aggressive. Um, normally they would be quite calm. I'm going to basically um, put them maybe over there somewhere. And then what's going to happen is all the kind of um, flying bees, which are also the ones that are going to attack, I'm going to go back to this place and I'm going to give them a couple of nukes and they'll all fly back into the nukes and then I'll give them a queen cell with a, with a frame, a frame with a queen cell each and then they can uh, just build away on that. Chances are the queen is still in, in this hive here which is good, they haven't swarmed yet otherwise there would be a lot of the bees would be missing. So I'm just going to go and do that now. because a lot of the aggressive bees, which are the flying bees, um, tend to or will actually go back to their old home because they, they kind of go by location, you know? Um, so this, is, this should make it easier to basically take out a frame with the queen cell on it and put it in each one of the nukes. I have three nukes now over there and um, it should make it easier. A lot of the time in this kind of weather, um, they can be very aggressive. So. Um, but I really have to do it now, like, you know, so I have no choice in the matter. Um, and this is because I might lose a swarm or something like that, you know. No, darlings. Just check if the queen is under the lid. Yep. 
probably was not such a good idea. Normally you can do that, no problem. But just today is not a good day. Now I'm going to start from this end. And I'll try and be quick about it because I don't want to stress my bees too much. Yes, darlings, I know. I'm going to be very quick. See that cell there? It's got a larva in it. That's a queen cell. And um, that's basically what we're talking about. It's very interesting to see that actually the bees now over there are really sticking to it because of the brood being shifted over by me. They can kind of really sense it, they smell it or something, you know? Now as you can see, this is an extreme situation and normally you would not do this. Um, I had to really do it because of the... You know, I was afraid that basically this hive would swarm out and it would have swarmed out in the next day or so. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell when it's kind of happens and I'm glad I really did it, you know? Um, as you can see now, we have our three nukes set up. Uh, each one has a queen cell with uh, two frames each. And in each frame you have basically some pollen, some honey as well, uh, and quite a bit of brood as well. So we've really set these uh, nukes up really well. Plus we have our old hive over there as well, which is going to be another um, hive as well. It's like a small nuke as well now at this stage. Um, so with with everything going well, we might end up with four colonies out of one. That's, that's okay, so just bad. another thing I forgot to mention, I just make sure to put in some uh, frames into the empty spaces with the nukes. And also I got stung about uh, three times today, so another reason why you might want to uh, avoid doing this during bad weather. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it, uh, watching this clip. Yeah, take care.